Hi, it's Wesley with Expand to Craft again. I'm here to talk a little bit more about motors and motor setup because this is the 12 foot 9 inch paddle cat with a standard 12 inch, actually it's 11 and a half inch wide um, aluminum deck plate, which we're having a little trouble getting these days, but there are other deck options that we have. Now, this is a test boat. And it has this actuated arm that allows you to lift the motor out of the water if you need to be. Um, it's, it's not the prettiest thing that I've ever made, but it works very nice. Now, I had this one set up, if you can see, there's pendles here for this motor. This is called the Vaquita. That's V-A-Q-U-I-T-A. -A. Um, ePropulsions.com is where you get those. I don't sell them but I'm a very big proponent of these motors. This is a brushless motor. I wanna talk about motors. It's a brushless motor, which is more efficient. Also, it is a ducted fan. So you have to Google ducted fan. I'm not here to tell you all about what ducted fan is, but it's very efficient, it's good stuff, as opposed to an open uh, propeller, such as you see on this water snake. And we'll talk about that in a moment. So brushless, very efficient. Also, this particular Vaquita was uh, designed for strapping onto a, um, uh, an SUP, stand-up paddleboard. But I adapted this apparatus to it and put this foil shape, even though, yeah, it has some tape on it. That's to cover up the bolts and stuff so that I can get at least some kind of nice water flow across it and not disturb the water as I'm going to discuss later in this about uh, efficiency with electric motors and their round shafts the cylindrical shafts making a foil how that's done it's pretty simple well anyway uh, typically this motor goes on this boat like so and then I use this arm to steer the boat and in this case, the, the arm is on the left. In this case, it's on the right. But as you push forward and back, you can see that this particular, this is called the water snake. The water snake is going to turn as you go forward and back. Now I've made this long enough. And what I'm planning to do is because this goes under my seat, yes, you can reach down and just steer it with your hand. But the idea is I'm going to put two little pegs here so that you can slip your fit, not fit, your foot underneath. And if you just move your foot backwards a little or forward a little, you can steer the boat hands free. Therefore, you could use the um, propulsion as an augmentation of your paddle stroke. And that's what this is for. With this particular setup, and I'm going to compare it directly to the Vaquita. The Water Snake is an 18 pound thrust motor. It has two settings. I've found that the first setting is plenty. Uh, unless you're fighting a whole lot of current and you're towing a whole lot of weight or maybe towing another kayak or behind you, you just don't need setting number two. We did this Water Snake and, and showed, if you go back and look and subscribe so that you can see, we showed this water snake pushing this entire 16-foot canoe with a 16-foot outrigger kit. This is what I call black and tan. So black and tan is my flagship and my rental fleet. And uh, it's a camper boat. It's so many things that a pontoon boat or a bass boat cannot be. Uh, and you can still take it apart quickly, put it on a roof rack, and then you can tow your camper behind you and have a boat like this uh, with you. Well, anyway, enough about black and tan. I'm going back to the motors here. This is going to be the standard, I think, for my rental fleet for a couple of reasons. One is simplicity. Even though the propeller is not as sophisticated a design and not as efficient of a design as the Vaquita, this is, um, I think, 180 bucks. The Amped Outdoors 30 Amp Battery, 160-ish dollars. But the Vikita 
comes with its own battery, eight and a half pounds for the two. Just eight and a half pounds. Not much, not much different really in weight with the water snake. Um, but this is, well, at the time I bought it, it's been a year and almost two years. It was 800 plus dollars. I'm not sure what they sell them for because again, I really, really like the Kita. And if you've got the money, this thing performs. It is a fantastic motor, hands down. But for the buck, the Amped Outdoors and the Water Snake 18, they sell them a, it's not much more money to get the 24, but you don't need that much power for a standard paddle cat or a kayak or a small canoe. A 24 would be fine if you've got a lot of canoe and a lot of stuff, but this one has worked out very well for me. Uh, we're going to do some in-water testing, so make sure that you check us out. Uh, what I'm going to have to do, and if you'll come around, uh, I'm gonna show you a little something. This head can be turned around. You take this bolt out and you can turn the head so that the propeller is either, or the controls are either facing the propeller or facing away. Uh, this was mounted on the front of one of my boats, but now it's on the back, so I'll have to turn it around. But the, the, the switches are all the way back here. So you can't very well get to them if you're sitting up there unless you have a swivel seat and a stick that you can poke it with. So you'll either have to have some kind of remote system or a swivel seat and a stick to poke it. Or you can do what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna leave it on setting number one because I just don't know that I would ever use number two with this boat. Um, and what I'll do is on this end, I'll put an on off switch that I can reach with my hand. So uh, reverse is negated. It does have a reverse, but on a boat like this with the Expander Craft Paddle Cat, well, you're gonna have a paddle. So you paddle to reverse, and you're only really using the motor, this 18 pound thrust motor, to augment your paddling. Um, although I can tell you, you can go for hours with just this one little 30 amp, uh, excuse me, 30 amp hour uh, battery. Uh, this is gonna be the basis of my rental fleet, I think, is this setup right here, because of the simplicity and because it's inexpensive. I think that the vaquitos are fantastic, but I'm not gonna put a $1,000, $900 motor on a rental boat. I'd rather just put a inexpensive uh, water snake on there. And it does essentially the same job. Don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, here on YouTube. We also have Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, what else is it that we have? Pinterest. Luke? Pinterest. So, Follow us uh, and be sure to share this so that others can um, find out what we're going to do next. Expand.